Uh, after buying his first bottle of fake tan at 15 years old, Jimmy Featherstone has become addicted to having a permanent golden glow. Uh, Jimmy's bronzing routine now costs more than £1,000 a month and includes daily tanning injections, regular visits to the sunbed and five layers of fake tan every single morning. Uh, but as he sets his sights on going even darker, Jimmy is joining us now alongside Dr Sarah. Morning to you both. Thanks morning. for joining us, Thank Jimmy. Thank you for having me. It's lovely to meet you. Well, yeah, I can definitely see that tan, babes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jimmy, when did the obsession start? I started tanning about 15. Um, around my mum, she loves the tan as well. And living with sisters and brothers, you know, my mum's very glamorous. And um, I've always had that bond with my mum. And uh, she got me actually into the tanning stage. So you was watching your mum, yeah. giving her a tan, and you thought, yeah. oh, I'm going to get involved here. Yeah. And then from there, I just try any tan. You know, people say to me, I'm so dark one day, and then tomorrow I'll be completely different colour because I do wash the tan off as well and look after my skin underneath all this. But um, is that the ultimate, like, compliment for you when someone says, oh, you look really dark today? Yes, because I'm achieving something that I want, I want to look dark, you know, yeah. I want to look darker. Do you want to look black like me, babes? I do, babes, yeah. OK. <laughs> uh, tell me something about the fact that it went from tanning to something a little bit more serious, actually, tanning injections. Yeah. Which so, are quite... They're illegal here in the UK, aren't they? So yeah. Us, so how do you they, get them, first of all? Well, you can just buy them offline and then you'll get them within two, two to three days, standard delivery. And when they come, they come in like a little pot, a liquid, and once you've opened that pot, you do it every day. And the first time I did that, I was 18 and I was... Um, in bed for about two days, I was really poorly off so these injections. So what, you had a, like an... A, what are the symptoms of that? I was just really hot and really sick, but I still do it now, and I just feel the liquid is what it's doing to my body. I believe I'm used to it now. Why do you do it, Jimmy? What's the... I do it because I feel it makes me better. I feel once I've got a tan, I don't leave the house without the tan. It makes me feel good in myself. You know, it's something that I like. You know, some people won't leave the house without makeup. I won't leave the house without a tan. And what do your family think? I have a supportive family, supportive friends. Um, that if they tell me no, don't do it, I go off and do it anyway. What do they think of the injections, then? A lot of them don't really know that I do that. Um, well, they know now, babe. <laughs> yeah. they know now. Let's bring our doctor, Sarah, into it, because obviously, I mean, I'm a little bit concerned, the fact that he's getting it off offline. We don't know who he's getting it from. Do you think Jimmy should be concerned with regards to these injections? Well, these injections are illegal in the UK. It means they're completely unregulated, which means that, uh, firstly, they have no safety or quality or effectiveness ratings with them. Um, so we don't know what their potential side effects could be to your body. And then secondly, it means because they're unregulated, we don't actually know what else is in them in addition to the advertised uh, tanning agent. There could be other, you know, uh, chemicals in there that could be causing significant harm. So, um, you know, when it comes to these, because they're yeah. unregulated, it's something that we can't really promote. But the outcome for me, they do work. So there know. are lots of absolutely there are lots of things that work in this world yeah. but that are doing you damage um, right. you know uh, underlying that. So um essentially you know you could potentially be you know killing yourself for a tan. Yeah but then also I do go on the sunbed straight after as well. So I try and go on them two two times a day. But hang on that's that. that's not that doesn't mitigate the, the tanning injections. So well that's not a good thing no no, unfortunately, um, there is no safe way to tan. Um, and yeah. we know that sunbeds can increase your risk of skin cancers by up to 20%. So but, it is a significant jump. Yeah, they do say that once you've injected to go on the sunbeds, because it does do something to the skin to make you that darker. Yeah, but obviously we can't we can't advise that. Can no. we advise that, no, Sarah? So, uh, essentially, the way that these uh, work is they're an artificial type of um, hormone that triggers off your yeah. pigment um, pigment cells in your skin to produce more melanin, and that together with the sun is obviously going to augment that even further and give you more of a tan. But the two things together don't aren't safe. No, just right. it's very important that we don't get Jimmy on to just beat up on Jimmy. No, <laughs> no, absolutely. But, no I'm but, so but, but 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 Jimmy, do you see? where Dr. Sarah's coming from. And oh, you, absolutely, yeah. I mean, um, is there any way you can, I don't know, temper this in, in a certain way where you're still doing your fake tan, it's not causing you any harm? I believe... But, but you, which makes you happy, that's what you want to look like, yeah. that's your business. Yeah. But, but, you know, you, you might not go down the route of, of doing these things that could cause you potential harm. I mean, potentially, yeah. Um, I would stop the injections. Um, some beds... 
that would be an hard one to give up. Perhaps However, just the, just, the, just the bottle. Come in at night, wash it yeah. off, get up in the morning. Well, I do look after my skin as well, like I say, so I do wash it off, you know, all the time. Um, but from there... When I did Strictly Come Dancing, yeah. I absolutely loved the tan, I'm not going to lie. It made, like, really... What are we talking about out. here? Just you know, the one that you, they spray you down? Right. It's yeah. quite safe. Can you not just do that and I go for a darker one? See, well, I do go for the darkest one in the shop. Yeah. I always empty the shelves when I go in, just in case they discontinue that fake tan. Um, so I use the mousse on the body. I won't use that on my face because I think it goes patchy. So I do the spray over my face with the same brand. Yeah. Sarah, is there a safe way to tan? Um, the safest way is to use yeah. um, spray tans and fake tans like that. Um, I think you know, ultimately the best thing to do would be to love the skin you're in and kind of uh, you know embrace that. But if if that's you know you need another step on, in addition yeah. to that, the best way to do it would be the fake tan. Unfortunately, tan beds and the sun are not safe. I feel for me, I'd like to try any tanning product, you know. So I think it's just try it once if it works, great, and then move on to the next thing. Um, however, I like to give anything a go once, you know. So with plastic surgery as well, that's a new thing that's coming up as well. I so was what are you thinking about doing? I was actually flying out to Germany today, but I've come see you guys oh, for my you nose. <laughs> so well, I think your nose looks beautiful. I'm going to get a nose job. Um, that's now in March. Um, I've had a few fillers around the face. So do you like that kind of plastic? You want that yeah. plastic look like? You don't want to be natural? Yeah. Looking. Yeah, I love the plastic look and I think... Back in Hull, where I'm from, people have labelled me as the Ken doll. You, know? you like it? Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I am just me and yeah. I can change the way I look on the outside, but I'll always be the same person on the inside. Yeah. And that's something I won't be able to change. Is that a kind of, um, and this isn't a criticism, it's just a question, is that a, a kind of your way of getting noticed and, and your way it's of standing not... out from the crowd and, and, and you know, it's not sort of to cementing your identity? It's not it's more the fact that it's, I'm doing it for me. You know, I'm a very happy person. There's nothing wrong with the way I feel. It's not that I haven't got supportive friends or family, because I have. I purely do it because I like to... Ch I want to change the way I look, and that's because I like the outcome, you know? Yeah. And there you are, looking lovely. Oh. <laughs> with a horse. With, it, with your horse. horse. Is that your horse? Is that your horse? I was actually at a family's wedding. No, and that was in the field. I love it. Nice. <laughs> so I just Lovely. captured a selfie with that. So do you think, have you got, like, an ideal that you look to? Is there anyone out there and you think, I want to look like that? Well, now I've been labelled as the Ken doll, I do actually like the way you look, <laughs> you know. So are you happy now with the way you look? Do you... Or you're not no, happy there's a long, No, there's a long way to go at the moment. I, I mean... think you're beautiful, you know. You walked in, <laughs> like, you, you look so lovely, and I just think you're just beautiful the way you are. Much appreciated. I really do. Thank you. So just as a... I mean, you know, like, we shouldn't be telling Jimmy how to live his life as long as he's not harming anyone else or himself, yeah. but in terms of plastic surgery, any advice? Um, I think it's just making sure that you find someone that's regulated, um, that, you know, have had um, good reviews from yeah. other people. And, um, yeah, and if you're ever worried by anything, don't worry about getting a second opinion. Yeah. yeah. Great, thank you. And keep looking fierce. Oh, well, <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much, Keep safe, Jimmy. And thank you, Dr Sarah. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Sarah.